In today's video, I'm excited to introduce a new company to the channel, an AI company working on something pretty exciting. So without wasting any time, let's jump in and find out more about the company. Wearable Devices Limited is the company we're going to talk about today, found on the NASDAQ under the ticker WLDS. This one is green on the day, nearly double digits, but what's more notable is that when we look here to the S&P 500, it is down by 8.62% in the last month. It's been basically going straight down uh, like an inverse rocket. But over here, uh, wearable devices is actually higher in the last month. So what exactly is going on here? Because stocks that actually go up as the S&P goes down usually have something unusual. Sometimes it means that when they can stop going down, sometimes they go higher. And this stock has stopped going down in the last month. Maybe this will help explain it. Nearly a month ago, they have a news release. Then they have another one. And then they got a third one, expanding their AI-powered biosignal intelligence with LMM for health monitoring potential uses. Ah, this sounds pretty interesting. Going back to the first news release we're going to read today, this talks about how they are expanding their next-gen neural interactions for everyday life after securing a patent in the US. Okay, that sounds pretty good. Yes, it does. They also tell us that they announced their full year 2024 financial results and provide a corporate update. And then like we talked about, they are expanding their AI powered biosignal intelligence with LMM for health monitoring potential uses, which basically sounds like they are expanding their offering. And they got a lot of things to go through here. But let's go back to their website because this is pretty interesting from sci-fi to reality, setting the input standards for ex extended reality. I don't even know what extended reality is. We're going to find out today. They've been featured in pretty big publications as well. But as we go through here, it seems like what they're trying to do is to take this device you already have and give you the option to use it, either with Mudra brand, Mudra band, sorry, which means you take your iPhone and use the band, or Mudra link, which basically looks like another way to get connected here. That's going to be for an Android device. They also have a dev kit. Ah, interesting. So the applications include smartwatch, mobile phone, AR glasses, VR headset, industry 4.0, sports an an analytics, smart home, and robotics. All right, let's make this a little bit simpler because uh, this seems pretty cutting edge. It does. So Mudra technology empowers intuitive neural input. Ah, neural. This sounds like neural link or something like that. It does. And what's interesting here is that it's a non-invasive neural input interface powered by AI. Oh, it's an AI company potentially. Yes. So take your uh, your Apple Watch and then plug and play it with a band. And all these things here, they uh, they work. So a wearable wristband for controlling digital devices using finger movements. Oh, so that's what the, that's what she's doing here. That's what it looks like. And this appears like it's a rapidly rapidly growing market. So AR, VR, and everything else we talked about. Their investment highlights include Brain to Device, Mudra is proven. Uh, they have a ship uh, ship for Apple Watch. Signed with Qualcomm and position for growth. Oh, Apple, Qualcomm. Hey, they got some pretty big brands here. This is good. Yes. And uh, it's founded in 2014. They got $2.2 million in research grants so far, a partnership with Qualcomm, and a lot of other stuff. Today is an intro video, so I encourage you to go to their website if you want to find out more. So the gestures can be customized per case and customer request. Customizable software app. That's the dev one. Uh, Pre-built gestures, including continuous tap, double tap, and decreased gestures, or discrete gestures, sorry. Ergonomic designs using Fletch, Flex Rigid Board. That's, uh, that's a nice wristband. SNC sensors convert neural signals from the ulnar, radial, and median nerves into digital actions. Whoa. Enhanced signal uh, processing using deep learning neural networks. Ah, this sounds pretty interesting. So there's a lot more to go through here, including live demo and uh, exactly what the go-to-market would look like. But we want to go through and, again, understand what this means for investors. So let's go back to these news, re news releases because this first one here, what they tell us is that they are expanding their service offering. And specifically, what it looks like is that they're going to offer their LMM technology into health monitoring and cognitive analytics. Specifically, this wrist muscle, muscle uh, say, uh, gesture, which I showed you earlier, could be used by health detection, stress tracking, and performance optimization. So they have some intellectual property here and a patent. And uh, this could be very good for the company because, again, a wearable device 
is something that a lot of people are familiar with. And it looks like if they're able to find the right application and the right partner or customer, they could do some pretty cool stuff. Working with Qualcomm and Apple means that uh, this is also really good. Moving on here to their uh, annual uh, 2024 financial results and corporate update. What I want to focus on here is actually the progress the company's made. Highlighted in their deck in more detail, we can look here to 2024 and look at their recent business highlights. Strategic collaboration and expansion. Sign the collaboration agreement with Qualcomm to elevate their e, uh, sorry, their extended reality or XR experiences using Mudra neural technology. Collaborative uh, collaborated with uh, Ray Neo to lead the neural control revolution for AR glasses, positioning Mudra ahead of competitors like Meta. Uh, Meta's pretty far ahead, so if that's a uh, that's what the company aims for, this could be a big market. They also signed a release, uh, sorry, a reseller agreement to scale licenses uh, efforts in South Korea and China. Yeah, they like things over in South Asia, so that sounds great. Product and technology innovations. Launch Mudra Link, the first AI neural interface wristband for Android and beyond, expanding accessibility of neural gesture controls. They also have an MDK or a Mudra developer kit for B2B customers, enabling OEMs to create tailored user interfaces. Again, those customized uh, gestures they showed us in the deck. Unveiling AI-powered large MUAP models to revolutionize gestures, gesture controls, with personalized neural interactions. That sounds pretty good because everyone likes things that are customized. They've also showcased future AI-powered gestures uh, for personalization technology, advancing next-gen human-computer interaction. They were also awarded the CES 2025 or Consumer Electronics Show Innovation Award in XR Technology and accessory for, Accessories for Mudra Link. They were chosen as the best wearable at CES 2024 by SlashGear.com. That's pretty good. Featured in Mashable, VentureBeat, and leading tech magazines. They also have strategic deployments, which include successfully completing the first stage deploy deployment testing for a leading XR glasses, OEM, meeting key evaluation criteria. If you want to get to market, you got to work with the big players. And that's why integrating their technology with Qualcomm, Snapdragon Spaces at CES 2025 and AWE 2024. They also have uh, IP and regulatory processes, which means that they filed a patent application for touchless pinch to zoom technology for AR and VR applications. They've secured a Chinese patent for its AI gesture controls interfaces. And that's pretty important because, again, two of the biggest markets are going to be the U.S. and over in China. They've also expanded their international IP portfolio with neural risk technology patents filing in South Korea. So this all sounds really good, but as they tell us they're planning to expand even further, um, they expand their AI-powered biosignal intelligence with LMM for health monitoring potential uses. So what this really tells us is that it goes from passive monitoring to proactive intelligence, providing you actionable insight, predictive health monitoring, okay, cognitive state and performance analytics. That sounds good, especially when tracked over time or benchmarked. Exploring predictive and analytics. That also sounds really good. And then finally, a platform for innovation. So recognizing the transformative potential of biosignal intelligence, wearable devices is, is extending to make LMM available to enterprises, researchers, and developers. The company's AI-powered biosignal data platform is expected to enable uh, businesses to develop custom applications, integrate real-time biophysical insights, sorry, physiological insights, leverage LMM's uh, AI engine to continuously refine predictive health and interaction tools. So this is a pretty big market in case you didn't know. Apple wants to get into wearables, but the actionable insight is not quite there. So what they're planning to do for a go-to-market, this is going to be their B2C or business to customer, and then B2B, potentially offering uh, annual licensing or a royalty per device. At 350, we're going to find out whether there is appetite for the company. And right now, they have more than one strategy. So direct sales, online distribution, retail partnerships, wholesale, and internal distribution, along with their B2B plan for licensing the program. Um, we can see exactly what they're doing here. So they got a pretty big, uh, pretty big ambition. And uh, they've been at this since 2014. If you want to find out more about the company, again, you can find that under the ticker WLDS or wearable devices on the NASDAQ. And then finally, please make, please make sure to read the description for full disclosure details. Thank you for tuning in, and I look forward to seeing you on the next video.